Normally I'm quick to switch up my playlist What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny LaShawn if you don't know. So today I'm just going to be doing a mukbang. I have some vegan nuggets that I made um, from home. Then I got some fries and bread from Raisin Cane's. And then I'm going to be answering some questions when I do my mukbang. But this is the cane toast and the fries. And then I got the cane sauce. And then let me show y'all the vegan nuggets. These the vegan nuggets. So we finna get into some things. I feel like I'm sitting too low. Like y'all, I literally don't have a chair. I might as well get that chair and put it in here. I'ma just sit on the floor. I really don't care. So I'ma eat y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Mukbang. <laughs> That's what I get. Why well, I got barbecue sauce in the thing? Today you're gonna be watching my mud buying. Today we're gonna be doing a mud buying. I'm getting on my nerve. I started saying that before I got on camera. I wish I had like a freaking chair in my room because it would make me sit up even higher. I'm sitting on my pillows. One of my pillows. Like I should have had a chair. But let's start eating. I want to dip the fry in the cane sauce. I'm greedy. Today, we're going to be doing a mukbang. Mm. I also want to dip the bread in the sauce too. Mm -hmm. Y'all want the food be good? I'm doing my happy dance. I got some questions that people have asked me on my story that I need to answer in this mukbang. <laughs> I'm complaining this mukbang. <laughs> okay. Let me start. Mm -mm. So, my first question that I got was, what do you like in a man? Hmm. I really just like someone that's like, I want to say somebody that's going to match my vibe. Like, I like, I know typically I'm not trying to bash anybody and I'm not trying to bash any like dudes that's out here. But typically you got a lot of females that have a type of a gangster boyfriend or a boyfriend that sells drugs. Like, that's not my cup of tea because like he either going to always end up in jail or the other one is he going to end up getting killed. I rather some, I rather have a boy that's like, that has a stable job that has something going for himself instead of like selling drugs and being in gangs and stuff like that like I'm not with that but yeah I really want someone that's gonna match my vibe my energy just honest that somebody that's gonna love me and then somebody that's not gonna cheat I can't say all men are the same because you are a lot out here that is good and don't cheat but majority of the time you be running into them men that be cheating and it's like, we don't got time for that. And I just I just don't see the point of cheating. Like, why be with somebody if you're going to cheat? I say that all the time, but people still do it. People still do it. But yes, I'll date any race. Like, I'm not against any race. I'll date any race as long as they taller than me. I want my man to be taller than me. Like, you cannot be shorter than me. We cannot be the same height. You got to be taller than me. I like them tall. Real tall. Let me complain. And do. <laughs> I like them tall. But yeah, I'll date anyways. Definitely. Okay, so my next question was, what's your favorite, um, what's your dream vacation? So my dream vacation, I'm going to show y'all. I really want to go here. My goal was to go here for my 22nd birthday, which is coming up in February. But I don't think I'm going to go there. If I don't go my 22nd birthday, well, I'm definitely not going my 22nd birthday because I have a trip next year um, around like April or May. So I'm not going um, to my dream vacation for my birthday next year. But um, I do want to go probably by the end of the year or um, probably my 23rd birthday, which is in 2024 of February. But my dream vacation, let me get to the answer my dream vacation is Maldives like it is so beautiful like I really want to go to Maldives so Maldives is located in the southern Asia it's um situated in the Indian Ocean 
but yeah it's in um south asia but i definitely want to go that's my dream vacation i always want to go there and i can't wait to go there like, i really want to go there i was hoping i can go there next year but that's not gonna happen because i already got a trip coming let's not speak negative see let's not speak negative because God gonna make a way and I probably can't go next year probably by the end of next year but yeah I definitely want to go either next year or for my 23rd birthday mm. I'm not even eating the nuggets that's crazy I'm gonna eat one now <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in barbecue and cane sauce mm -hmm. it's giving boss never ever play me like I'm Avery Mm 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 mm. No. Mm mm. So, my next question is, how do you deal with stress? So, um, sorry. Whew. So, like, when I'm usually stressed, I just like. I stay to myself, like, I be wanting peace. So, I, like, literally cut my phone off, iPad off, like, all of that. Like, I just go to sleep when I'm stressed, even though that's not a good way to handle stress. But I also um, listen to music to, like, ease my mind, like, if I'm really, really stressed. But I will definitely turn my phone off and ignore everybody. Well, I do that still sometimes when I'll be stressed, but I definitely do that. I just feel like... My way of getting through stress is music. Like, music really helps me calm down because, yeah. So, my next question is, um, what's one thing you wish you could change in your life? I would definitely, if I can go back, I would definitely change how my childhood was. Like, getting abused as a child and growing up without my mother because she passed away from cancer when i was like seven if i could like start my life over and like change it i would like just start back over like to have a mom for me and my sister like we had a great great mom but it's like my sister knew her more than i knew her because i was a child at the time so i barely had time to spend with her because she was sick and dying with cancer so definitely um I will go back and change that. And it's crazy. Like, I want to share this with y'all. Because I feel like y'all support me so much. And y'all should know. So, apparently, after, like, cancer doesn't run in the family. It wasn't hereditary or anything like that. But, um, after my mother had me, um, she got this thing called fry fibroids or I, I think fibroids I think that's how you say it if I'm not pronouncing it right I think it's something in the uterus or something like that I better not talk trash about me like you should know how to pronounce this you in college mind your business why is it not pronouncing I'm greedy this is not mm -mm -mm -mm. this is very slow but I think it's fibroids it's a benign tumor of muscular and fibroids um, tissue typically developed in the walls of a uterus. So I was right. It is in the uterus. So typically when, after she had me, um, she developed um, fibroids in the uterus. And she went to the doctor to get it removed. But, of course, they didn't remove everything. And so it just turn it it turned into cancer and then it just spread all through your body because you know cancer affects your brains your lungs stuff like that but yeah she basically tried to go to the doctor and get it removed they had forgot one little piece that they didn't remove and uh, it originally after that it turned into cancer you know that's when she was sick and stuff like that so yeah that happened after she had me um, I know that story because my sister told me. Of course, I won't remember nothing like that. And I was just a baby. So, my sister told me that story. Um, but yeah, like I said, cancer was never hereditary in our family. Like, nobody in our family ever had cancer. But my goal is... Sorry, I almost choked. 
my goal is like when I have kids, I want to give them a better lifestyle than what I had because growing up, I didn't have a good lifestyle. Getting abused by my father, by his wife, and his other children, but like, I didn't have a good life. A good life. So my next question is, what's your favorite memory? Oh y'all, let me tell y'all another thing. I always remember when I had, I think it was like red um polish, fingernail polish. My mama had told me not to open it, um, and cause if I get that on her carpet, she be gonna beat me. She was gonna whip my behind. So I ain't listen to her, y'all. While I had spilled um a bunch of red polish on her carpet and I tried to cover it up, she came and um saw it and she started running after me. I had ran upstairs and locked myself in the room and she had called my father and was like, Come get your child, cause she just put um polish on my carpet and I told her not to open it. I, I didn't listen, y'all. Ain't beating. I did not listen. I was that polish on her carpet. I ain't listen to her. So I'm in my own room. I got this much of food left. Let me check out the nugget. I got this much of food left and then the nugget. So my next question is what made you want to start YouTube? So basically, I just decided like I want to be an influencer. Like I want to uplift people. I want to show like I just want people to be a part of my life, not a part of it, but necessarily I want them to see how I'm living because stuff don't come easy. And just I just want to share my story. It's like sharing my testimony, just sharing what I've been through in life. But I always want to be an influencer. I want to say always. I started YouTube because I wanted to be an influencer. Like I wanted to be vocal and just just tell stuff and then just let other people hear my story and because some people can relate to me so just other people hear my story and learn from the things and stuff like that my next question um how are you mentally i'm good mentally like i'm always good i'm the type of person i'm always smiling i'm always happy but i do have my days because you got some people they'll smile and don't even be happy but i understand because you have to sometimes you have to do that but mentally i'm good i am i'm straight i'm good like i said we're doing this mock buying we're doing this mock buying mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My next question is, what's your top three favorite shows and movies? Don't play with me. So my top favorite um, TV shows is the Bernie Mac show. Brianna know, like literally when Brianna calling me, I'm always watching the Bernie Mac show. Like I done seen the Bernie Mac show about a million times and I watch it over and over like I never seen it. Like I'm, I'm not watching it right now, but I've been watching it last night and then I literally be watching it over and over. My second favorite show is um That's So Raven. I love that. My sister be like, you used to watch that growing up when you was a kid. And she be like, you still watching it over and over? Yes, girl. I don't get tired of it. I don't. And then my third favorite TV show. Um I would have to say Basketball Wives. I love Basketball Wives. My favorite movie of all times is Poetic Justice with um Tupac and Janet Jackson. That's my favorite movie. Like I can watch that over and over. Love it. I always understand it. Like that's my favorite movie. My second favorite movie is A Thin Line Between Love and Hate with um Lynn Whitfield and Martin Lawrence. Definitely one of my seconds. Like I, I used to watch that over and over. Like I never seen them. Mama had did her so dirty in that movie. She even told him at the beginning, if you gonna um, hurt my feelings or if you gonna play with my feelings and mess up, don't talk to me. Like, leave me alone. And he still did that. Still talked to another girl and was still talking to her. But she had every right to act the way she did. Because he made her that way. When she told him that she been through a lot and she don't want to go through it again. And if he gonna play with her heart, then just leave her alone. He ain't listen. That's what men do nowadays. Don't listen. And my third favorite movie, um, I think it's National Security with Martin Lawrence. I think that's the one where he posed as a cop. My last question is, how do you deal with breakups? Basically with breakups,
I just talked to God about it and just try to get an understanding of why this happened. I'm like, what can we done next time and stuff like that? I just listen to music. Like I say, music really helps me. So now I'm trying to change. I listen to music. But you know, but this tea busting, y'all. But I want to say, um, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for listening to me rant and why I eat this mukbang. <laughs> why I eat this mukbang. But, um, I'm going to see y'all in my next video, which is going to be very, very soon. But I'm going to finish my food off camera because I don't have no more questions. And then I'm eating kind of slow. So, deuces. But it's just